sweet theme today, right? And uh, speaking of sweet, we have Steve, we have another Chris, and we have Donnie with us this morning from the Cheesecake Factory. It is National Cheesecake Day. I didn't know either, but I'm just really excited about it. Uh, and they're going to walk us through a quick treat you can make at home, uh, courtesy of the Cheesecake Factory and one of their new recipes. So first, we're going to start with Donnie over here. Uh, explain National Cheesecake Day. Is this something that the Cheesecake Factory came up with, or just something you're getting in on? Uh, we came up with it about three years ago. Oh, and it's a great marketing tool. <laughs> it's a success, and uh, every Donnie and guest comes in today gets uh, any slice of cake for half price. What's your favorite kind? Mine, uh, I, it was Dulce de Leche, but now it's actually Stephanie's. Stephanie's, and this is the red velvet, right? That's Has correct. anyone used that as a wedding cake? Uh, not to my knowledge, but I'm sure that they My fiance any kind loves of cake. cheesecake, yeah. like more than me. Uh, and then you've got a new uh, flavor that you're debuting, too. Tell me about this. This is our Reese's uh, Peanut Butter Chocolate Cake. <laughs> Reese's Peanut Butter. Baked with our original cheesecake, and it also has layers of fudge cake and caramel. Oh, my very, goodness. very good. Doesn't that sound good? All right, so thanks so much, Dottie. We're going to head over here, too. And there is yes. one thing for everybody who uh, purchases a slice of cheesecake 25 cents of that Reese's cheesecake goes to Feeding America. Oh, that's wonderful. Which is beautiful, and that's what we did with the. Uh, so you feel really good about eating that cheesecake. Go ahead, no guilt whatsoever. Absolutely. So, you two, walk me through this treat that you brought in. You've got several ingredients here. We've got, looks like, Butterfinger pieces. Very We've good. Got So what we did is, is if you take a cheesecake home and you can't eat it all or you want to just take a cheesecake home. You can't eat it all, please. <laughs> or you can take it home and, and have a party with your family. You just slice the cheesecake back, uh, the cheesecakes in half, put them in the freezer, get them okay, ice so putting cold. putting them in the freezer is a key here. Get them, getting them rock hard. Okay. And then bringing them out. And then we make a chocolate uh, shell mix, which is butter and, and chocolate. Get it nice and wet. And then we coat the, okay. cheese, the frozen cheesecake slice. And then you can just dip it. In any variety of nuts, I want to get some sprinkles on there too. Yeah, absolutely, throw some sprinkles okay. in there. I'm gonna do this a little bit. I like the color. All right, this is great. My friend, by the way, my best friend Amanda is getting married in October, and I have the task as maid of honor of throwing a bridal shower for her. And so, perhaps this is a great bridal shower food or baby shower food, something absolutely. you can make at home, right? Something fun yeah. to do with the family, something fun to do at parties, something like take home. The kids, uh, my little oh, girl does it. With, she uh, grinds up gummy bears. Oh. So. <laughs> one of my favorite flavors, especially um, with the chocolate mixture, but yeah. definitely the Reese's is going to be and one of the top about favorites. You, Steve? Uh, I'm, I'm old school. I'm, a, I'm original with strawberries. Strawberries. Now, as you, as you get new flavors, do you retire old flavors at all? Sometimes. It, it's, it, it depends. If one or two get off the menu, then and a lot of them stay on, and it really does, just depends on mood and, and time of year and time of generation. So, all right. But we have a cheesecake. We want I to 